kindly offered to open her home up to us and show us how she has used some of our decorations in her home this year. And she lives in a really beautiful part of Sydney and it's got a gorgeous sort of um, botanical history, this yes, area. Yes. There's some beautiful gardens and lovely old trees. And that's what's really inspired her. She wanted to really bring in a lot of our florals. So let's have a look at how she's done it. We're going to start at the front door Great. and then we're just going to walk through the house and talk Perfect. about what she's done. Let's go. For your front door, Jack, what a beautiful way to welcome people to Christmas. Yes, I love it. I love that it's just brought the outside to the front of my door. We love plants, we love the greenery, and it just blends in with the front, yeah, which we love. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And it's just a welcoming sign that we had made by the Christmas cart. I mean, it's just the great entrance to our home. So we come a bit deeper into your entryway yes. and you've just got a lovely star with candles. You love candles, don't you? I love candles. I love the scent they bring to your home and it just makes a lovely relaxing place when people come. And this gorgeous little tree as you come in the door. Now there's a little story to this tree, isn't there? There is a little story. I have a beautiful little granddaughter who is nearly four years of age who attempts to put the ball balls on the Christmas tree. Uh -huh. And as you can imagine, most of them are glass. So I decided to get a little miniature tree which was safe. Nothing could fall and hurt her. And she just had the best fun. And it was a big part of our Christmas. And there's a couple of other little touches in your entryway as well. Yes, up on the wall as you head out of the house, we have a music piece. Our whole family loves music. And below that we have the beautiful star that resembles the whole family. That's gorgeous. And I can see you've got the love heart over there just hanging from your shutter. Exactly the same. This place is a home. And um, as you can see by the little um, pillow, friends are the best presents. That's how we are. Now here on your mantelpiece, you've got three very special stockings. Yes, I do. I have uh, my granddaughter's stocking. We have a baby due in four weeks, which we don't know if it's a boy or girl. That's the bubble tea. And Archie is my daughter and her wife's little dog. Beautiful. So they belong in our home as much as anything and they're hanging in the pride of place. So the two main colours that I can see you've used are the lime green. Yes. And that lime green is always in your home, isn't it? This yes, is it a colour that you, you have constantly, um, you draw from the hydrangeas and everything that are sort of common in this area or yes. popular in this area. Yes, it is. So then to sort of bring the Christmas in, you've gone with a lovely strong red. That's right. I've joined the two to cut, uh, together. To me, that's what Christmas is. It's yeah. the, the bright red and green. So you've got some natural, some uh, real hydrangeas here that were a gift from one of your friends. Yes. And just sitting simply on a tray with that burlap poinsettia. Gorgeous. I think that as I look around your room, you've used the red burlap poinsettia and the green um, sort of glittery poinsettia just in a few places throughout the room. So it all kind of coordinates. And this is the furnishings that you always have, the vases that you have exactly, all the time. Exactly. And you've just added that sprig of um, That's red. It. And I try and bring a little bit of it into every room. So when you walk from kitchen to family to dining, it all blends in together. I love the coffee table centrepiece. That's beautiful. I know that you have that urn there all the time, uh, but you put different florals in it depending on you know, depending. your mood. Exactly, and yeah. we've also used the beautiful little pearl light, yep. and I've put that through the greenery. Yep. It just lights it up, and yep. at night it's absolutely beautiful. You can have the lights down, and that centrepiece just glistens. And you've used our free download as one of your pieces of artwork. Absolutely. I know you normally have a, paint, a picture up there, don't you? Yes, I usually have a picture of uh, my children up there, but it has been replaced for a little while, just for Christmas, just um, to bring in the joy. Every family home at Christmas, the tree is a focal point. It's a place where we sort of expect that we'll sit around at some point, open up some prezies and some gifts that we've got for each other. And your tree is sitting pride of place as we come down in through your entryway. And again, you've used the gorgeous lime green and the red 
and mix it up with lots of different decorations so it really sparkles. Actually I'm one at Christmas that likes to put things that are old and new on. Yep. Um, we have memories on that tree, you know, gifts that have been given to us. I Gorgeous. do like to keep the Christmas colours of course. Yep. Um, but I have incorporated some silver and some gold with the bright green and the red it's and gorgeous. it just um, nothing looks out of place because yep. I think on a tree you can have anything you can hang anything on a tree absolutely and it looks great now one of my favorite things are your jack-in-the-box actually has I have a story to that Tell I me actually story. had a very dear friend uh, many years ago who um, was very close to me and we lost her and the year before she died we went to a special trade fair and it was a Christmas trade fair and her and I fell in love with these Jack in the Boxes and she said you have to have those Jack because you're a Jack. <laughs> so her and I selected about two dozen Jack in the Boxes and they have been on my tree every year in memory of her ever since. Oh it's gorgeous. And I can see that you've got a beautiful tree topper there where again you've combined the florals, the red and green florals. Um, you have got your lit uh, star right at the top of the tree that just sits underneath them. And we've used that technique where we've put the deco mesh in as part of the tree. To fill the tree up. Yeah, yeah it works really great. well on a white tree um, where you can just fill in the spaces and in this case we're actually able to sort of twist it around the base of the star tree topper. You can barely even tell that it's there but it just um, you know makes it all blend in with the tree. And you've gone to all the trouble of setting the table for us just to show us what it's going to look like on Christmas Day. Got your bonbons out. Yes, we actually have about 30 on Christmas Day. I'm one from a very big family. And um, this is just an example of how I set up three big tables. We're going to have bring in the colours of the red and green and um, the tiny little lights that I've got in the mesh on the table will just light that table up for everybody who's sitting around it. That's gorgeous. And then as we go further around in your dining area, you've done a beautiful um, candelabra here. Once again, using the fresh florals with the red poncettia, the burlap. And we can't go past talking about your lovely husband getting up on that dining table and hanging that garland for you. Once again, bringing that lovely fresh floral down onto your dining table. And I can see that you've added some of our Christmas cushions as well to a couple of your occasional chairs that you have around the room. Yes, I have, because as you could see, I had the lime green with the gray and the white. Yep. And just a couple of little basics, just your beautiful Christmas cushions. On each chair, I scattered a red and a gray. And again, it's just brought those colors in with the house. Jake, thanks so much for opening up your home and sharing with us just how you've decorated it for your family and friends to enjoy this Christmas. It's been fantastic. You're very welcome and I hope that after you've come through our home, a lot of people get some great ideas. Um, I really love Christmas and I hope it's given a lot of people some inspiration to do their home up um, like I have. So um, Merry Christmas to everybody. Merry Christmas. To view more of our videos, download any of our printables, check out our DIYs or shop any of our items, simply click the links below.